So a while back, someone left this on my stairs. I don't know why. And I wanted to use it, and I thought it was a great idea. So it's a battery charger, and uh, it has 5 volts input, which is what this is. And then you have a USB 5 volts output, right? Now, when I try to use it, you know, it's been charging. And... Uh, that goes into there, but when I go to here, plug the USB in, attach it to the iPhone, right? Nothing happens, right? So this battery is no longer able to hold a charge, and I think it might be able to, but I'm unsure because the circuit board that controls everything on this side over here might not be able to recharge this battery because I think it's sat too long with no charge. But then something came to mind, you know? I wonder if this battery that's inside of here, what's the condition of it first off, right? Can it be recharged? But then it was actually this that gave me a hint. This form factor battery right here is winning out in the world of uh, rechargeable batteries. Can you see that? So this battery form factor is uh, is actually winning. It's, more, it's and it starts. I'm seeing it more and more in in, in many uh, rechargeable devices, right? And it looks like that might be inside of here, and it might be soldered to the motherboard that controls the voltage and the logic. So. I think we can probably fix it. I'm not sure. So let's let's try. Let's 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 have some fun and see what we can do. So I want to show you one more thing uh, before we we begin. You can see right now it's uh, it's being charged, right? And uh, if you look closely at the lights right here, you hit that that button, that green light that comes on. That means it's actually outputting also. So you can charge it and output at the same time. That would be off, right? But look what happens. So that's the output, right? Pull it out, it just totally shuts off, right? I don't know. Basically, we just need to develop a theory of operation, right? So, because I've never owned one of these before. So let's just double check what we see here. So I'll plug this into the phone. And we'll take this put it into there and we should see something output onto the screen here to indicate that it is attempting to be charged so let's see let's see there you go so there's the output right and you can see it it doesn't last long, it goes away right when we hit that, so take a look. So let's say that screen happens when that is being charged. But then if you watch this for a couple of seconds, right, you'll notice that it goes off. So it's not able to actually keep on it can't keep up with what how quickly the battery is draining. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we can uh, replace the battery or we can um kind of uh trick the circuit board, not trick the circuit board, but charge a battery outside of this and see if that will give it enough charge that this can continue to charge it properly because it just doesn't know what to do with the current condition of the battery. As in other words, when you have your charger batteries and you let them sit too long and they're completely dead, it just, they don't want to come back sometimes, you know, not easily anyway. So I think, uh, well, the first thing we had to do is figure out how to, like, separate this thing, so it's, uh, it's definitely not from the sides because it's all encased. And uh, it's probably the bottoms. Wouldn't be this one, I don't think, because that uh, looks pretty, pretty in there. This side, on the other hand, looks like it might be a little bit easier to come out from here. Also, the, um, the, the board controls everything is going to be on this side because of the these things right here so 
I don't know if this cover might just come off easily. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Something's folding up. Oh, it's bad or good. Like that's okay, so that's some sort of some kind of you know a cover. It's uh, just has a adhesive of some sort that holds it on. Uh, it's not a cover, really. It's just more of a label. So I'm trying to pull this off. That's a nice, nice label. <laughs> Alright, so that's that, All right? Okay. Ah! There we go. We have little tiny screws. Yeah. All right, let's get these uh, screws out. Let's see what we uh, what we're working with. These are Phillips, by the way. Well, whatever. Let's see. Okay, so that's that. That cover. What's happening here? So I'm just kind of like pulling on it. I'm getting back here. I want to since I get soldered onto the uh, the battery, probably. All right, I gotta get a little light. All right, so I want to see it down inside of there. Okay, we definitely have a battery. Looks like the same form factor, uh, but. Yeah, I don't want to keep pulling on this because those are soldered onto that board. So I want to get that battery out of there, but I don't know how. Unless this has also has. Uh, turn that off. Maybe we could pull it off. We'll push it. Yep, <laughs> we'll just push it. All right, well, that was easy. And yeah, I told you it was like kind of loose. Okay, so that's the case. Oh boy, don't lose your button. So that, that fell out like that. Okay, just keep that out. Keep that the way that is. All right, that's our button right there. Here's our battery. Familiar. <laughs> um, what's going on here? So it looks like this is soldered all the way down through, like, sorry, some kind of wire black wire and hmm. that bus that goes to the negative probably because it's black yeah that doesn't mean black things are negative it just means that that's how people encode electricity and talk about it it should be white and no, I'm kidding it should be nothing it's colorless it doesn't mean anything all right um what do you want to do and we can get this out. Oh yeah, it moves. 
Okay, this is good. That's very good. So this should slide forwards with this. Yeah, we're in. Okay. I see. See what I mean? It's a thin piece of metal. So I should we just solder that onto the back of the battery? And I bet you there's something similar on this side. Let's see. So this pad. Let's try to save as much of it as possible. Careful because there's some electronics that's there. I don't know what's below this. side off. Oops. This also has some sort of insulation cover. And we can we can save that. Yeah, it's, it's taped down. This is interesting. So, something like that. Do you see what I mean? This is why, this is why my initial hunch is that these two things can be uh, interchanged. Well, let's see. What is this? This is a. Uh, this is 3.6 volts. This is 3.7 volts, right? And. Eighteen. Okay, this BRC eighteen six five zero. I believe this is like encoded for form factor, which is what this says. This says the same thing here. It's one volt less. Um, I think this could be a good replaceable battery for this. It should be fine. You know. Uh, yep. So, how are we going to do this? Because that's just kind of like soldered onto there. The thing is, you know, you want to have heat with batteries. It's like, that's not exactly uh, safe. Batteries like to explode, catch on fire. So, I don't know what's, how's this, what's a safe way to solder this. Um... All right, let me think about this.
All right, so what do you think? Uh, I'm confused here. Well, I'm not confused. I'm just uncertain how to move forwards. This is soldered on to, uh, lights off, sorry. This is soldered on to that battery there. I cleaned up the back a little bit so we can see what's going on. So that's like soldered on to this. And... I want it, you know what, why can't this hold a charge? I mean, really. I wonder if I can actually just recharge it outside before this is turned on. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No, I should stay the course. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, here's my concern, right? This battery is. Uh, I'm assuming that, you know, I can probably avoid the insulator that's on the bottom, but either way, this is going to be a little bit taller than this one, just a little bit, the red one. You know? I don't know. Maybe we can, uh, pull off this cap and see what's on there. There's, like, a plastic cover. On this here. And it looks like if I were to peel this back. Oh, here we go. Now we see the true true battery shape itself. Okay, all right. I think that pops off. See that? I thought I this is this is what I thought can happen. We can pull this off here. Looks like it just sits I don't know on top and then reuse it. You know that, that's that's what I thought we can do, but. Might just be better off trying to uh, just solder it directly to the battery. Hmm. Let me pop this off. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Alright, I got my multimeter. The multimeter. And I got it set to DC volts. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I'm curious what this thing is. Currently. How much voltage is it set at? 0.79. Hmm. What happens right, when we try to charge it? Well, just point eight. I 
So it went up a little bit. Can it get any higher? That's the question. All right, I'm gonna let that, I wanna watch that for a second and I'll bring it. All right, so <laughs> take a look at what we do, what we have now. So, right there. We're 2.65 volts, right? Okay, let me talk about what I did when you were not looking. So I got my nine volt battery here, right? I just went like this, that, uh, some alligator clips on there and I went negative oops sorry. negative back here positive up here I was just curious to see if this will actually charge the battery charge in a battery another battery you know just held it there about 15 seconds and that's how it jumped all the way up to that many volts. Now here's the problem, right? <laughs> it's, it's called a burn test. So batteries should charge slowly if they're healthy. To charge quickly, they're not healthy. You know? And uh, we know this is a 3.5 volt battery. So for it to gain so many uh, volts in like 15 seconds tells you that it's most likely this battery is shot. You know? Say 2.9. Yeah, I, I can't trust this battery. Either way, it's worth playing around with, you know? All right, so, you know, well, let's conduct a test. We're gonna um, attach this USB, the, the charging input, into it. I'll let that uh, sit there and charge it for a couple minutes. I mean, maybe like, yeah, a couple minutes and see what happens. Okay, so it's been uh, 45 minutes, and I just want to see where we are now with our voltage. Okay, you can't see. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so where are we? We are at 3.46 volts. So this did charge it, right? Now here's the issue. We don't know how successful that's going to be at charging something else. So let's disconnect this. Okay. Let's take this device. Let's go to the USB out. We're at 69%. Okay. So let's see what happens when we hit the button. Oh boy. So we just. Okay, it's charging it. It's holding. So yeah. yeah. My concern is I don't know if I just ruined the USB by shaking it, whatever. Okay, so it's charging. Let's give that, I'll bring you back in like 10 minutes and see what we got. All right, it's been 10 minutes and uh, I want to do a couple things. Let's see where we're at. So we're at 71 now, so from 69 to 71, not bad, right? Around 10 minutes. You can obviously see the time. So, I guess we went up by three. Two, two, yeah. 
and uh, I want to see what kind of what happened here. Okay, see, this is no longer charging, so let's see why. Right. This is a 3.3 .3 volts, it says. That's no longer charging. Why is that? That light doesn't come back on. So what do you think? You think it's a failure on this side of the circuit? What if we change the battery and see what happens? Yeah? Alright. I know you're thinking I'm thinking the same thing. We're thinking the same thing. And let's just see. Let's see how this works. If I plug back in the... Uh, Before or earlier, that would just shut right off. Remember? So now we're charging it through. It's basically like an intermediary we're going through that. So let's give that 10 minutes and see how that behaves. And we can kind of narrow it down to see if we have some failure in the actual like board itself. Let's check and see what voltage we have. 2.6 volts. That's interesting, right? Because that was at 3.3. Hmm. Okay, I think we're just going to end up having to replace that battery. So, it's, uh, you know, I think it was like 9.22 the last time I looked at this. So it's not... 9.38 right now, according to that. See, it keeps on turning on and off. Hmm. Not sure what that means, but I do know where it went up by 1%. So... I don't know. What do you think? Is, why do you think it's like flickering on and off? Let's check the voltage on the battery here. It's all plugged in, by the way. They're 2.3 volts, right? Okay, I say let us unplug the phone unplug the charger and the USB turn this off we check the battery see what we get two point five eight all right, so I I believe that this battery is no good. We can't do anything with it. I don't know why it was uh, flickering on and off. I don't know if I... Uh, you're not really sure, you know. All right, so I think we should replace the battery and uh, try the same test and see how it behaves. So I got the soldering gun out and... Uh, well, boy, that thought got hot, didn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so I need to uh, <laughs> not do any more wood burning. That's I got my uh, smoke, I mean, sorry. Um, <laughs> wow. Language. Um, fire suppression device. I can't even figure out how to say that. I got my uh, glasses on, and my concern is uh, heat. Heat and batteries are uh, just never a good thing. So uh, I'm concerned about this thing um, catching on fire. Oops, that's a little hot. That was a mouthful there. Put this back there. See what we're working with. 
No, that thing doesn't look like it wants to come off. How about we pull off the front? Yeah. Can that just say it peeled right off? Hmm. Maybe not so easily, huh? It's just a piece of metal. Let's see what this does. Oops, don't burn anything. Some things like to fight, don't they? At this point, I really have nothing to lose. I just can cut that thing right off. Salvage the metal. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I don't think that's going to come off easily. I'm not really sure what's holding this thing on either. did work. And should I heat that some more? Oh, that wasn't my best job. Alright, well, that one didn't come out as easily as the other one. That's fine. Okay, let's just uh, get this set up for putting it back. Yeah. Because it's going back. Let's make it a little lower. Not so poofy. Okay, so we got it all put back together. Uh, I wanted to just see what we got. We have it in charging mode. We are at 4.05 volts. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. 
Well, that seems to be on. It seems to be working. It did charge that a little bit. My question now is, uh, will it actually... I don't know how much longer it needs, but let's disconnect it. Let's turn it off. Actually, okay, that's a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. That turns off. And that turns on. All right. Let's see if it can. Uh, what kind of charging can it do? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Mr. Technology, Miss Technology, Genderless Technology, Androgynous Technology. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so we have charging 1051, 61%. Okay. Let's see how well that does. I'll come back and, you know. 10 minutes or more. We'll see if that's still on doing anything. All right, let's see where we are, shall we? That light's still on, that's a good thing. We're at 75%. Not bad. So it's charging and it works and it's stable. Cool. So I would say this is a win. Hey, listen, if you, I'm sorry, you can see. Oh, the glare. So much glare. <laughs> so much glare. Well, anyway. I don't know what you can see or not. It's kind of weird. There you go. Okay, sit up. Anybody else interested in the voltage? thought somebody might want to kind of know what, how much voltage is left on that battery. 3.6 volts, so not bad from 4 point whatever it was, 4.4. We'll do some math and figure out how much I can expect from one of these. Let's get this back together.
No. Come on out. Awesome. We did it. Hey, so if you like this video, I want you to go ahead and let your friends know. And it was a pleasure making this video because I wanted to sh share with you, like, it's like simple things like this you can keep out of landfills, you know, and just reuse and recycle them as much as we can. As you can tell, they're very easy to work on, you know, it's not super complicated. And uh, everything's available for you to buy as long as the computer part of it is fine all right so hey listen don't forget the thumbs up subscribe thumbs up thumbs up can you see that thumbs up <laughs> okay so definitely subscribe because it really helps a lot you know it takes a lot of time and resources to make these videos and i hope that it helps you out because it helped me out okay so teach and be taught and let the world know that there's a better way to live that is more conscious and uh mindful of the future okay all right so reuse recycle upcycle all the good stuff all right but definitely you can fix it remember if i can do it you can do it who's that from right, let's get this back together
Awesome. We did it. Hey, so if you like this video, I want you to go ahead and let your friends know. And it was a pleasure making this video because I wanted to sh share with you, like, it's like simple things like this you can keep out of landfills, you know? And just reuse and recycle them as much as we can. As you can tell, they're very easy to work on. You know, it's not super complicated. And uh, everything's available for you to buy as long as the computer part of it is fine. All right, so hey, listen, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs up, can you see that? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so definitely subscribe because it really helps a lot. You know, it takes a lot of time and resources to make these videos, and I hope that it helps you out because it helped me out. Okay, so teach and be taught and let the world know that there's a better way to live that is more conscious and uh, mindful of the future. Okay, all right, so reuse, recycle, upcycle, all the good stuff. All right, but definitely you can fix it. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Who's that from? <laughs>